Hello guys, my name is Mathur and welcome to my channel. This is the 53rd tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we're going to check out the continue statement. Now, when the word continue is encountered in a loop, the control automatically passes to the beginning of the loop. So the continue statement is different from break in the sense that when break is encountered, the control is transferred outside the loop and that is to the first statement after the loop. Whereas if you're using continue, then the control will be transferred to the beginning of the loop. So if I'm not making too much sense, then just hang on. I'll use a shell script to demonstrate this to you. So I have my text editor here and I've saved this file in the home folder. It has the name continue and the extension sh. And uh, the script that I'm going to make is going to be pretty similar to the script that we made in the previous tutorial for break. But it's just that we are going to use uh, continue instead of break in our script, right? So let me first uh, declare and initialize the control variable. I'm going to call it count again, but I'm going to give it the initial value zero instead of one. And uh, you'll know why I'm doing that in just a moment. On line two, I'll type in the keyword while, and then within square brackets, I'll type in the test condition for the loop. And it's going to be while dollar count is less than equal to nine. And this time the limit is not going to be 10. It's going to be nine because we are going to have 10 iterations in total zero through nine and uh, in the previous script if you remember it was one to ten so zero through nine will again give us ten iterations on line three i'll type in the keyword do to get inside the while block and one thing that i'm going to do different in this script is i'm going to increment my control variable first and then display it right so that's sort of going to make up for the uh, initial value of count which in this case is zero so if I would increment it and then display it then the first value that will get printed will be one right and the last value that will get printed will be ten so that's why I initialize my variable with the value zero so I'm gonna use expr to increment the variable and I'll put the expression within reverse quotes and then I'll type in count in the equal to operator there right on the next line, I'm going to type in the if statement and then a condition. And we obviously don't want to skip all the iterations for the loop, right? We want to skip a specific or a particular iteration. And that iteration, the one that we're going to skip is going to be the one for which the value of the control variable is five. So hyphen EQ five. And in the body of uh, if log, let me first type in then. Uh, we're just going to type in the keyword continue. I'll terminate the if log by typing in fi and then of course I type in echo to display the value of my control variable and then I'll type in done to finish the loops uh, work and then on line 12 I'll just type in an echo statement to know that we are out of loop. So we are out of the loop now right I'll save this file bring up the terminal I'll execute the script by typing in sh space continue dot sh which is the name of the file and when I press the enter key you see numbers from 1 to 4 and then you see numbers from 6 to 10 but you don't see the number 5 and the reason why you don't see that is because when the value of the control variable reaches 5 the if statement evaluates to true and the only statement within the body of if which in this case is uh, continue gets executed and what continue does is it forces the while loop to skip everything that's there after the if block and after the if block we have our echo statement so this statement gets skipped when the value of the control variable reaches five right so that's what the contro uh, continue statement does if i uh, put break here then what would happen is i would get numbers from one to four but after that i won't get any numbers at all why because when the break statement would get encountered the control will be passed to the echo statement on line 12, right? So we won't be taken back to the while loop, but we will be taken outside the while loop. So that's the difference between break and continue. I'm uh, sure you guys have got a hang of it. And uh, that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we're going to discuss something interesting again. And probably we'll get back to our discussion on meta characters since it's been quite some time since we've talked about them. So see you guys in the next tutorial. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.